Hi everyone, today we'll explore what the universe is made of, comparing the Buddha's teachings with quantum mechanics. Thousands of years ago, the Buddha offered a radical answer. Everything is made of three fundamentals, mind, matter, and space. These are not particles, but invisible forces. Mind is awareness. Matter is the potential for form, and space is the infinite container. They're not created or destroyed, they simply are, timeless and ever-present. Imagine them as the ultimate constants, the rules behind the cosmic game. Before any star or thought, the potential for mind, matter and space was already there. This view challenges our usual sense of beginnings and endings. The universe isn't a one-time event, but an endless process. Stars and thoughts are fleeting expressions of these fundamentals. All of it unfolds within the limitless arena of space, and that space holds secrets about our place in the cosmos. Infinity isn't just a big number. It means no beginning, no end, and no edge. The universe stretches endlessly in all directions, with no center or boundary. If you travel a billion light years, you're still at the center of your own observable universe. Every point in space is the center, and every moment in time is the center of time. The Big Bang isn't the start of everything, but a pivotal event in an infinite timeline. This means your present moment is the fine point of time between infinite past and future. You're not a tiny speck lost in the cosmos. You're at the center of your own universe. All of space radiates from you. All of time pivots on your now. This is not ego. It's cosmic geometry. Every observer, everywhere, holds this unique position. The universe isn't happening out there, it's happening right here, right now. The present is always the center of infinity, and that changes everything about how we see ourselves. In an infinite universe, everything we see, galaxies, stars, people, are temporary forms like ripples on an endless ocean. Nothing is permanent, everything rises and falls. Modern physics echoes this. Sir Roger Penrose proposes conformal cyclic cosmology. He suggests our universe is just one in an endless series of cycles. The Big Bang is a transition, not a beginning. Each universe expands, fades, and gives rise to the next. Ancient philosophy and modern science converge. The cosmos is a perpetual process, not a static object. Forms rise and fall in sweeping cycles. The substance of one universe becomes the seed for the next. We are part of this unending rhythm of creation and dissolution. How does form arise from formless potential? Buddhist thought describes four elements, heat, energy, air, movement, water, cohesion, and earth, solidity. These are not atoms, but qualities that combine to create all forms. When these elements unite, a form what we call a particle appears, and time begins for that object. It's like quantum mechanics matter is a wave of potential until it takes form. In the Buddha's view, the mind also moves in rhythms. Each thought arises, exists, and fades away. Our experience of time is the rhythm of our own consciousness. The universe is made of waves and rhythms, not static things. Matter condenses into form, mind pulses with thoughts, everything rises, exists and falls in a cosmic symphony. Impermanence is the rule, not the exception. The universe is a dance of vibrations from thoughts to galaxies. So, what does this mean for you right now? You are a unique combination of elemental forces which is matter animated by the rhythm of mind at the center of infinite space and time. The universe isn't separate from you. You are its direct expression. The same principles that shape galaxies shape you. Mind, matter and space are the stuff you're made of. The wave of creation and dissolution pulses with every breath and thought. You are not just a witness, you are the dancer, center stage. The universe is infinite, but you are its center. Everything is temporary. 
but you are at the heart of the eternal now. You are not just in the universe, you are a central conscious part of it. So let's take a moment to reflect on everything we've explored today by looking at the big picture. In the Buddha's view, the universe is made of three timeless elements, mind, matter and space. There is no beginning, no ending, everything just is flowing endlessly. The fundamental function of this universe is not static, it moves like a ripple. This is what we call the wave function, a rise, an existence and a fall, just like thoughts, just like breath, just like life. Mind and matter travel through space together. Mind is the observer, matter is what is observed. They're inseparable yet distinct. Matter itself is not what we think of as particles. They are four invisible forces, earth, water, fire and air. When these four forces merge, only then do they form physical substances. Only then does time begin. Because time is not eternal, it's a function of change and form. And just like waves, all things born from this merger rise, exist and fall. This is the nature of the universe, not made of solid things, but of interconnected energy, flowing, dissolving and appearing again. So today, what did you learn from this video? What is missing in the modern physics? Take a moment, reflect, and if something clicked, write it down in the comments below. Subscribe for more wisdom from the quantum and the awakened.